I enjoy sleight of hand illusions. And one of the reasons is that they reinforce the fact that what you believe determines what you see. I didn't always understand this concept. I grew up thinking that what I believed was determined by what I saw. But it's not what you see that determines what you believe. It's what you believe that determines what you see. Sleight of hand magic tricks work because people see that which they expect to see. This is important because your belief system determines how you interpret everything that you see, hear, read, and think. Imagine a sign with two groups of letters. The first group of letters consists of L O V E. The second group of letters consists of I S N O W H E R E. One more time. The second group of letters consists of I S N O W H E R E. An optimist would look at that sign and see love is now here. A pessimist would read it as love is nowhere. And a nonconformist would think that it says love, I snow here. The bottom line is that people tend to find that which they look for. This concept is very important and along these same lines, each one of us is shaped by how others view us. We either live up to or down to what others believe about us and about what they think we can do. What other people think of us is frequently more influential than what we think of ourselves. Once you understand this concept, you'll realize that to some extent, you have the ability to break free from the limitations that others put on you. But it all begins in your mind because your belief system determines how you interpret everything that you see, hear, read, and think.